Okay, let's do some order of operation problems. Um, for order of operations, you have to decide which operation, addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division, you're going to do first. And there is a specific order that they need to be done in. First of all, you're going to do your parentheses first, um, then your exponents, then you're going to do multiplication and division in order from left to right, and then addition and subtraction in order from left to right. So if you do this in an organized way, you won't get confused. As I look at this problem, addition, multiplication, and subtraction. Well, multiplication comes first, so I'm going to put a little half box under it to tell you that that's what I'm going to do first. 3 times 4 is 12. And then I'm going to rewrite the rest of the problem right underneath. Now I do that to keep everything straight. If I start writing little problems off to the side, I start getting confused about what I'm supposed to be doing. So if you do it in this way, you'll um, stay organized. So then the next thing I have is I have addition or subtraction. Well, it says addition and subtraction in order from left to right. So the addition comes first, so I'm going to go ahead and do the addition. 5 plus 12 is 17. Bring down the rest of the problem. And then finally, 17 minus 1 is 16. And there's my answer. So let's try a different one. Let's put some parentheses in here. Okay, so I'm going to do the parentheses first because that's the top of my list for order of operations. Um, 6 plus 2 is 8. Now you'll notice that this 8 over here is sitting right next to the parentheses. That means multiplication, so I need to put that sign in, or I need to leave the 8 in parentheses, one of the two. So now as I look at this, the next thing I have to do is multiplication, because multiplication comes before subtraction. 8 times 8 is 64. Bring down the rest of the problem. And 64 minus 3 is 61. There's my answer. Well, let's try one with an exponent in it. Okay, so here's my exponent, and as I look down here, I don't have any parentheses, so I don't need to do that, but the next thing is exponent, so I do that first. And 4 squared actually means 4 times 4. So if I write that down, then I remember that that's what that means. 4 times 4 is 16. Bring down the rest of the problem. Now I have addition and multiplication. Multiplication comes next. 6 times 8 is 48. Bring down the rest of the problem. And now I have an addition problem, 16 plus 48. So 8 plus 6 is 14. Carry the 1. 4, 5, 6. So my answer is 64. And that's how you do order of operation problems.